Hello everybody, it's Ryan Casey 9 oza and a subject I don't really see a lot on YouTube with amateur radio is fox hunting. I don't know if it's just not as popular as what it once was, but in our area it's started to become more popular. We've done a few fox hunts with our club and a friend of mine, he has a ammo can fox and so I kind of after doing a fox hunt kind of got me interested and I went online and I ordered me a micro fox mf-15 from bionics I'll leave the description from where I got it down below of their website and what this is is just this is a fox it's one of their smaller transmitting units and it is a two meter 15 milliwatt Fox and what this is is you have your 9 volt battery that powers your board and basically what this is is a little bitty transmitting radio and you have your antenna and a switch to turn it on and off and I'll show you here in a second how you program it but all you basically do is once you get it programmed this actually puts out some tones as well as my call sign or whatever call sign you decide to put in it and then you can change the delay so I have it set for a minute delay so once I flip the switch on I think it's got roughly 30 seconds so I can get away from the fox it'll transmit its ID that way people can find it with their antenna and then it'll go silent for a minute and then after that times up it'll transmit for a short period of time it'll go dead for a minute until somebody finds a fox and then usually somebody's listening so like if I hid the fox, I'd be listening on a simplex frequency or a repeater frequency. And then somebody would let me know that they found the fox. So it's a pretty nice little device. You can, I bought it as the full kit. So it come with the radio or the fox, the antenna, as well as a programming cable to program it on the computer. And if you want the whole thing you can order the whole thing if you just need pieces you can just do pieces so I'll go ahead and hop on the computer and show you the programming software it's really easy to set up I had it programmed in a couple minutes all you gotta do is go on their website download the drivers and the software and the software is really simple to do so again this is BioNX Micro Fox MF15 from BioNX. I've bought some other stuff from BioNX, so be sure to check out those videos. They got really good stuff. If you have any questions on any of their products, they're more than happy to help you out. So let's go ahead and jump over to the software. Okay, so to download your drivers. You want to go to bionics.com slash mf for micro foxes and they do have different foxes you can buy so here's the one that i bought and like i said in the video it is a 15 milliwatt transmits in a two meter frequency band can be heard to three miles away Runs on a, off a standard 9 volt battery. Can provide up to 20 hours of use off that battery at 50% duty cycle. I have the USB programming cable, but you can get it in USB or serial. It's $75 if you want just the transmitter with the case. This is the combo that I bought. So it's 105, which included the transmitter, antenna, USB programming cable. 
and they also have what they call the Microfox 15S which is the same as the one I have just in a little bit smaller configuration and so on and so forth they have a couple different ones so once you they also have a nice little user manual to tell you how to configure everything schematic notes on stuff this is one important thing that you will want to do if you are running into issues you think you got it all the way in but you want to make sure because I ran into that issue so make sure you got it fully seated just shows you the board So we'll go back and you know, click on this, it, do your configuration program, we'll say open, and here's the files, read me, of course I've already unzipped the zip file, so you'll have to extract all really easy to do um, again if you have any questions they're more than happy to answer you so now we'll go ahead and I'll show you the software okay so here is the software for the microfox so once you have went to BioLinux website and downloaded the drivers and the software it's a zip file so you have to extract it and then here's the software so you have tone speed tones duration loop time initial delay frequency you can adjust your calibration and here's your different tones so it'll kind of sound like music I'll show you here in the video I'll turn it on and have a radio next to it to kind of show you what it sounds like you can change this um, enable the LED on the top so here's your Morse code ID so you'll put your call sign in there and then you can change your words per minute you can read your configuration from it you'll select your COM port once you plug it in You can load all of it. So I'll go to load, configure. And so here it's uploaded my saved file. So I have loop time 60 seconds, initial delay. So once you flip the switch, you got 60 seconds before it starts transmitting. I got my call sign. I never touched any of the tones or nothing. So I'll go to you want to read the device first and then once you get this how you want you just hit write config it'll write it to it it'll tell you it's done you unplug it turn it off turn it back on and it will start Playing your configuration. Pretty simple, easy to do. So, not too hard to do. Again, you can modify all this to your likings. I've just put in some simple stuff. I may change it later. That's a nice thing. You can save different configuration files. So, thank you. Alright, so I turned the Fox on. I've got the radio here to the frequency that it transmits on so we'll just wait here and show you what it sounds like
So there was the fox. It has those tones at the beginning, followed by my call sign in CW. So once it transmits that, it'll wait 60 seconds or whatever you program it in the software I showed you. And it'll start the cycle all over. Thanks for watching.